And we turn now to breaking news out of Hollywood, where the loss of a music legend is being felt. Rock legend Tom Petty is being remembered today by fans all around the world. The confirmation came late in the evening. After being found unconscious at home on the morning of October 2nd, 2017, Tom Petty had been rushed to UCLA Medical Center in Santa Monica. Despite the efforts of doctors there, he died shortly before 9 p.m. I just thought, this is really strange. You know, this is not someone you would have expected. It wasn't like so many other rock stars of a kind of similar vintage who you thought, well, you know, they really lived the life. Tom Petty didn't seem old enough to be going so soon um, and not young enough to be stupid about drugs. At the time of his death, I don't think people really were aware of the health problems that Tom Petty had been suffering with. Petty's death came at a dark time for music lovers. The previous evening, a gunman had opened fire on a music festival in Las Vegas. 58 innocent concert girls were killed in what was the deadliest mass shooting in American history. For so many, Petty's songs had been a comfort in hard times. Now, grief was piled on grief. Fans gathered at the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tributes poured in. Musicians of every genre and generation mourned the passing of an American legend. On the night after Petty died, Bruce Springsteen dedicated his show to him. He was not the only one. Coldplay, The Killers, U2 and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they all paid tribute in their sets. What I realised when he died was how loved he was and how respected within the musical world he was. I think it's clear to see that Tom Petty was a musician's musician. He was really well respected by his peers, by his contemporaries, by people who came before and after. Mm -hmm.